An 11th hour witness coming forward causing a delay in the DOJ inspector general's probe into alleged government surveillance abuse. Our legal eagle tonight is here with reaction, former Deputy Assistant Attorney General John Yu. Mr. Yu, great to have you. Thanks for having me. You know Michael Horowitz, the Inspector General. What do you make of this delay? First, I think Michael Horowitz is a professional prosecutor. He has served under administration of both parties. I, I expect he's taking his time because I think what he sees is what we see, that the Obama administration, the FBI, and the Justice Department misused FISA uh, to try to surveil a major presidential campaign. The very purpose that FISA was passed was to prevent such a thing. The harder question, which is what Mr. Horowitz is probably working on, is whether this was an honest mistake, uh, that people were duped by the Steele dossier and the terrible evidence, I think just fraudulent evidence that was brought to the Justice Department, or whether it's something worse, whether the intent behind the misuse of FISA was partisan, was to try to affect the election. I really hope that that's not the case, because that would be a disaster for the Justice Department. Either way, you expect Horowitz to get to the bottom of whether DOJ and FBI officials crossed the line on whether Russians infiltrated the Trump campaign? Yes, and I think that's why we want him to take his time to make sure he interviews all the witnesses, to go back and interview more if he finds like an 11th hour person coming forward, as Fox News is reporting, and then also to make sure that we don't give away any secrets or classified information when the report is eventually made public, which I hope it will be pretty soon. Then there's former Vice President Joe Biden talking about Russia and election security. Take a listen to this, and I will get you to react. Look at what's happening with Putin. While he, while Putin is trying to undo our elections, he is undoing elections in, in Europe. Look what's happened in Hungary. Look what's happened in, in Poland. Look what's happened in Moldova. Look what's happening. You think that would have happened on my watch or Barack's watch? You can't answer that, but I promise you it wouldn't have, and it didn't. But didn't it? <laughs> you know, after watching the debate where Biden seemed to have a senior moment when he was getting beaten up by Kamala Harris, I think he's having more senior moments because he seems to have forgotten who was president and vice president in 2016 when Russia actually did interfere in our elections. If there's anything the Mueller report shows is that in 2016, under their watch, the Russians tried to take advantage of the United States and try to interfere for, with our elections. The question is why. And the reason why, I'm afraid, is because after attack, attack, and attack in the cyber field against the United States, the theft of the OPM database, the hacking of Sony, the theft of U.S. military secrets, I think countries like Russia and China thought they could get away with anything. Mm -hmm. There was never any kind of deterrence or retaliation by the Obama administration. So I'm afraid Joe Biden's already forgotten the things that just happened two years ago. John, you thank you so much for your time and analysis. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. You too.